So let's say that I've just created this beautiful interactive plot that I want to be able to share with others and access through a web link. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is create an account on Plotly. So if we go to this link right here, which takes you to the Plotly website, you're going to want to go to the top right hand corner and there's a box that says sign up. So here you can just put your email, username, password. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign into mine. And once you sign into your account, go to the top right hand corner and in this drop down menu here, you want to go to settings. So in the settings, you're going to want to go to um, this uh, section here called API keys. And so what this shows you is your username and the API key. So if we go back to the R file with the code, the first thing you want to do now that we have an account is sign into our account in um, on the console. So we use this function here. And we say plotly username equals the name of our username. So mine is Kaylee Yang 2 And then we have to put in our API key, which is right here. So then when we run these two, Um, this essentially logs us into our account in the console. And then to post the um, uh, plot, we simply use the function plotly underscore post. And so the first argument is our plot. And then second is the name of our file. And so once I do this, it's posting my plot onto my plotly account. So now when we go on our plotly account, we can see the plot that we made earlier. So now if you look on your console, you'll see this message after um, Plotly posts your um, plot. And you can see here it says, view your plot in your browser at, and then here's the link. So sh you can share this link with other people um, so they can see your plot. So here if I type it into the um, browser, I can see my plot. 